made for you. Believe everything we say is true. 1722. 1722. What? You, he, you hit record? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. I like it. We're in there. We're in there. Um, still getting over being sick. Yeah. So I can hear it in my voice. I'm a little bit out of breath still, mm-hmm. regardless of smoking. Uh, but we haven't uh, been here together for a while, so. I have not. Yeah, it'll be a good one, I think. Might as well. Yeah, I think it'll have be a good fun. pause. Uh, can you hear us? Keep testing, testing. Uh, can everyone be heard? Huh? How are we? In, how are we in the headphones? Headphones, headphones. Headphone check. Actually, I feel like we don't need to do sound checks anymore. We're uh, too good for just, it. Well, just because we don't have so many guests in that in that span, and just noticing how most of them lean back and they were kind of fading in and out, and you could still hear them. I think, I think we've done this long enough to where we know the volume to be at so yeah okay. why is that because we're professionals we are very very professional that's right because this is oh shit this is episode 53 then it, wait wait wait. i don't wait, know wait. the numbers really because I, I don't know i was trying to keep up with how what episode numbers the ones that we did was going to be and i lost count and i just kind of <laughs> my brain fizzled out uh well we pumped out like three right away yeah and then got sick and then haven't seen each other for like a week a week two weeks I don't know how long it's been yeah feels like a lifetime it would have been two weeks well it basically had yeah it's been two weeks yeah. okay yeah I've had a lot of stuff to happen right and so granted given all that it's time to jump back into a podcast right oh yeah that's damn straight oh <laughs> <laughs> Don't take his jokes. I won't. I won't take his butt. I don't know That's why, it. but my fucking teeth hurt. They they are sore. Like anyone uh, out there that knows a dentist, hit us up. Yeah, teeth pain is the worst of all pain. Yeah, it'll take the biggest motherfucker down. Yeah, yeah, it's the worst. That's true. I hope. Yeah, might what, just have to keep uh, this in there for the disclosure, so because I'm probably gonna be hitting that move a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try not to, but. It makes it feel better. I don't know what the fuck's going on. They feel my gums feel irritated for some reason. Yeah, the gums or a singular tooth. My gums, the like gum. my front row. Ah, uh, yeah. I hate that shit. Mm. It could be that gingivitis. I think. Yeah, gingivitis. Uh, gingivitis. Gingivitis. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so you uh, you want to start the pod? <clears throat> You want to want to jump on in? Yeah, let's just get right into the pod. Ready for the intro? Let's do it. Let's Who's do ready it. for the intro? Who's ready, ready for the for intro? <laughs> oh, I, I fucked up the mouth. Ready for the intro? Ready for the intro? Yeah. 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 Like, let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had just listened to that. Their ears were tickled. Oh yeah, they're coming everywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say they. Uh, I don't know how many dudes listening to this never thought that Austin mm-hmm. would be the one to give them a boner, but it just happened. Oh, oh yeah, they're tickled the eardrums and they just are the right torqued. Way. Yeah, they're full torqued. I right have now. to find that video just for that. But man, that, that was like one of the first things I seen on TikTok. Oh, that's true. oh sure, that's a TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. When we when we do that, I can't help but think of pandemic because mm-hmm. um, literally. It was at the start of that shit. I don't know why I chose the pandemic <laughs> to get TikTok. Yeah. It wasn't, I like, that was it wasn't like my life changed. So I was still working every fucking day. I, yeah. But I think most of the world got TikTok because of... I mean, we didn't, but because of the pandemic, that's why... Although I did kind of have huge. somebody like, get TikTok, get TikTok, get TikTok every single day. So yeah. I was like, fuck. All right, I'll see what it's about. Yeah. I still don't like it. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it's, I it's like okay. I like what my friends do. I had yeah, one that shit. blew up, and I mean, my phone was annoying for like a week. So, I don't know, man. But I kind of think about it. It's like I, I, it's not a head blown up thing, but it's like a small little bit of fame. So I don't know if I can really handle that. Could you imagine just having a check mark and you post a picture, and you just got random spam motherfuckers commenting all the fucking time you got like 75,000 like you constantly got a like popping up or whatever so you can never like get to nothing that would be crazy 
Or like I a mean, DM. I can't lie and say I don't want that. That sounds be amazing cool. to me. Yeah. Because as cameras? someone... Huh? No, just... No, just like in general, like yeah. social media, like I'm using Instagram in my mind when I'm talking about mm. this. Like, say, like you posted a picture or whatever and it ends up like, I don't know, 100,000 likes in 20 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, I'd yeah. be cool with it because it's so, happening to me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But I'll, yeah. but since it's not, not really interested. In that I don't really yeah. give a fuck. Even if it was five thousand, I'd be like, oh fuck yeah, yeah. Five thousand every single time. I I'll post tell you something. what bothers me. What I'm is saying that is like a notification popping up on your screens. I was oh, I shut notifications off. I'd have to drive me fucking yeah. crazy. I would just Man. go. I would just go on there and just read through them and then get off. I wouldn't keep it on either. Oh, I, would I would never read them. I think that's what celebrities' problems is, especially on Twitter. They get their heads sawed off on there because they go on there and vanity search their name to see yeah. what people got to say about them. Because, you know, you can tag people and shit. Yeah. And sometimes somebody might watch a TV show and critique somebody, critique one of them and not even add them on it. And then, because I've seen wrestlers do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't care enough. Oh, to yeah, you guys would a thousand percent have to take my phone away. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I already know. I'd percent. be like, hey, motherfucker. We're all involved in this, and you're making us all look bad. And these threats, <laughs> yeah, you need to start tagging them with yeah, your name. Say, we couldn't give you that. We couldn't give you the option of blocking, because man, oh, yeah, yeah, no see, see your haters out there. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying for me, uh, I wouldn't react, but I'm saying I would look at everything. I know I wouldn't react so, because it would come back on me. But I know that I would go out there and look for every bit of information. I would react. About you me. would be looking for the negativity. I'd oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be. I'd react to the motherfucker who said the harshest shit that day. One a day. Mm. Like I might be in a bad yeah. mood at that point of the day, and I see somebody say some some stupid shit, and you might be the only person that gets. Yeah, and then if you got positive stuff, I would gladly, gladly conversate with that person. Yeah. They're like, hey, so your podcast helped me in a way when I had stage four knee cancer and I didn't know how else I was going to recover from it. But, you know, the three of you guys just really brought me out of my funk. And because of that, I don't have cancer anymore. 1722 healed my cancer. I'm going to talk to and that person. do it. Right? I'm uh, going to talk to that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. Because that's not negative. That's but I would shit. talk to, the, like, the negative people. I'd be like, if you're following me and this is leading to me getting more successful, I don't really care what you have to say. Exactly. The positive people, I'll be like, hell yeah, <laughs> like you're supporting. That's cool. But the negativity, it, I don't really think it would. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. I would find yeah. a way to be funny about like roasting them back or something. But I don't think it would like really affect me. Like okay, that. so then my thing would just be everybody would be a bastard. No matter what, I, no matter what the insult is, I'm, <laughs> ending, I'm ending it with bastard. <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yeah, that's that's fucking that. hilarious. Yeah. So, Bastard's a funny word. I'm having a good day, and you're ruining it, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That is great. Merch idea. Shit, that are is we, a great uh, merch idea. Are we starting now? Because I'm about to talk shit about something. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Welcome to 1722, where we talk shit about everything, and we don't take shit from nobody. We don't take shit from nobody. You're damn right. We're back. Yeah, we're, we're back. back. We're, we're back. back. We're back. My pants we are, are back. Not Here really. we are. Uh, yeah, no, we're back after a uh, two-week hiatus from each other. Yeah. You know. We've uh, had COVID. Yeah, you and I had to quarantine, yeah. and that's about as much as I want to talk about it, because everything gives else a fuck, you know? Shitty, yeah. It's a pandemic, so. Pandemic and climate change. Shout out Jack Harlow. Water there you go. under the bridge. Yeah. I love all three. That's true. You like but, water uh, under the bridge more than Jack Harlow? <laughs> um, I believe that out of everything that's popping. Yeah. I would say it would be water under the bridge. And that's how he fucking does it, right there. <laughs> that's how you do it. Fantastic intro, I love it. But yeah, we all, we uh, haven't so seen So Ty has, has re- said he's ready to talk some shit about something, so yeah, what is that so shit? Buckle up. It was All-Star Weekend. Last mm. weekend. Mm. Golf. And uh, the dunk competition. Oh, yeah, I watched that It was the shit. worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my that's goddamn all life. all I've heard, but I haven't seen it. And <laughs> yeah. you know... I just don't get it, man. Things are just continuing to get worse with time. Everything, damn near. But that dunk competition was always supposed to be guaranteed. This is the time where you get to do whatever the fuck you want to without anybody being there. And you do some stupid shit. But you want to know who did the stupidest fucking thing? Who? I don't fucking know his name. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I'll tell you what the fuck he did that was so stupid. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I had to take. I have to take a breath <laughs> because I'm, I, I I boil on the inside because I hate what the fuck the world's becoming. But this stupid son of a bitch wore a fucking NFT around his fucking neck and tried to do a stupid ass dunk. Oh my god! You thought the NFT was gonna get you more style points, bro? Oh my god! Oh my that. fucking god! I don't even want to understand an NFT now, but I it's just the fact. Hate 2022. It's so. He had it on annoying. a fucking necklace. <laughs> oh my god! Can I can I ask a question? So you don't know who he is. I want to say his name was like Jalen Green, but I might be wrong. Okay. I, I don't remember. I was drunk as okay, fuck. Hold on. I before, before you ask, I got something to say. Okay. Did he have the NFT around his neck the entire time? Like what? While he was dunking and shit. He missed and then <laughs> took that bitch off. <laughs> That's perfect. perfect. That's even fucking better. Oh my god. Um, okay, so is this guy a basketball player or a celebrity? They don't let celebrities do the dunk competition. No, no, no. They let them play in that dumbass. Oh, it's a game. dunk competition. Dunk. Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry. I'm, yeah, that's why I asked if he did it through the dunk thing. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh my god! Because my next thing was to be like, okay, if he succeeded, did that mean that the next time he? Because you know, you, in dunk competitions, you have multiple rounds. If he had to do an NFT and jumped over a car with the NFT around his neck and dunked it. But he fucked up I don't up get anyways, the point so. of it. You're, you're doing that to what? Showcase some shit? It's yeah. not like you can promote it and somebody else can go buy that motherfucker. It really, yeah. it really means nothing to me and it really means nothing to anybody who doesn't give a fuck about NFTs and that's majority of the fucking world. So you're fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I just want to clarify something. Like, uh, I love pop culture, right? So I love all that shit. Who doesn't? I love anime, wrestling, all that. Uh, but I don't give a fuck about noth- none of it. In order to pay two hundred and fifty fucking grand for a sliver of something, yeah, for me to wear it around my neck, yeah, or to pit spend two hundred and fifty grand on a goddamn ape. Right. Who the fuck cares about a fucking ape? I've seen people. Uh, what is his name? Steve Aoki or Nokani, whatever the fuck that techno motherfucker is. Yeah, he spent nine hundred and eighty grand on an NFT. Stopped his show in the middle of it. And was like, yo, I just bought my first NFT. Nine, bitch, they don't give a fuck. They're trying to see you, and you're talking about an NFT. <laughs> he bought that shit in the middle of a show. <laughs> yeah, literally, you can look it up on YouTube. He's like, yo, nine hundred, like, and he's like showing every, and it's like, as soon as you did this, nine hundred thousand dollars is worthless. We, we did just recently talk about this already. Just saying, not that it matters because it's a podcast, and not everyone hears every episode, but. Shout out, fuck Steve Aoki. Yeah. Right? Wait, we talked about Steve Aoki? Yeah, not that long ago. We brought this up about NFTs and him selling it. I thought They're I heard that before, stage. but I, yeah. I don't uh, know. Still. I, I just, uh, I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't, I genuinely do not understand NFTs. No. Whether it be the ape or whatever it is, it's the same with cryptocurrency. Why do I want to buy something and once I have it, I can't get to it. Well, the way I understand it now is like if a band is selling an NFT and you buy it, then you get tickets automatically when they come to your area. You get like the first merch drops. Uh, you get all this like bonus content and then you also own a piece of their music, right? So their plays on YouTube, you acquire money off of that because you own their NFT now. So now you own a part of the band and their history. Yeah. So like Avenged Sevenfold has one, right? Let's say you buy uh, an NFT to where you own a percentage. You buy into uh, Bat Country, right? Every play it gets on YouTube or Spotify, you're going to get a percentage of that. And then let's say five years down the road, you're like, I don't really fuck with Avenged Sevenfold anymore. And but Tyus does right, and he's yeah. got the money to buy an NFT, and he's like, Days "Oh yeah, I'll money. buy the I'll buy into Avenged Sevenfold, right? Mm-hmm. I can now sell that to him for either the going rate or, or a different one. But now I can make money off of trading it to him, and then he'll make money in the long run as well. <sighs> and then the band makes money, and it works for the band or the creator of yeah. whatever whoever's NFT it is because the money goes straight to them." Instead of going to a label or whatever. Sounds like a Ponzi scheme if I've ever heard of one. (laughs) Pyramid motherfuckers. Yeah. I mean, would I do it? No. Could I do it? No. Absolutely not. (laughs) That's the most important thing. Like, I think I 
have somewhat of an understanding now, but I know that I'll never be uh-huh. in a financial spot in my life where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. Yeah. I'm going to buy a thing for a million dollars. Yeah. 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 But one day, if you share the podcast enough, though, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we'll get an NFT, and then you guys can own a part of 1722. Yeah. And then it'll all make sense, and we'll be cool. I'm going to make this an NFT. I'm surprised it's not already. Yeah. It's just because he's a racist in real life, I think. I'm going to say, yeah, we can't make Alan really a one of, a one, of one. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I've been holding that shit in for... for the weekend or whatever, I was gonna tell y'all about it in the in the group chat, but I was like, nah. Yeah, so yeah I, I didn't see a single thing about it, but all I've seen, like Ben, yeah, he put on Facebook, he was like, uh, the dunk competition is done <laughs> for life or whatever, yeah. and I seen several other people saying like similar shit. Uh, I just, I mean, like, I get it, but at the same time, at some point, we all do need to accept, though, that the shit that we watched back in the day is never going to come back. It's not even about, you know, it's not even about back in the day, bro. No, no, because I know, they but just I'm tore, They tore the house down in 2016, so it's no reason why these young dudes can't do it now. That's what I'm saying. That's a while ago. So what was the issue? Like I said, I didn't watch it, so I have... No idea. I think it was... I, to me, I think it was just jitters. It was a whole bunch of failed dunk attempts. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And there was no creativity, obviously. Hell, the motherfucker's wearing an NFT as a fucking necklace. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying so to like, Paul So, like, as far as the dunks go, they're doing the same old shit you've seen and failing on top of that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah that's even worse. But, I mean, yeah. Not even just 2016. I mean, the last few weren't, weren't even that bad. You ain't really heard that much flack about the dunk competition until this shit. Yeah. <coughs> that shit was that shit was garbage. Yeah. I mean, as someone who hasn't watched it in a while, so <laughs> this is just like I have no bias or whatever at all. But I think if anything that you should probably accept after a while, like you can only see so many things. Only yeah. so many things are possible. The, the human body can only do so little. Right. And they're, but they're, like, but they're, they, they know that and they, they're really lean with their votes to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. But it's just the fact that you just, well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the fans, right. Oh, the fans yeah. need to shut the fuck up. I'm not saying yeah, don't no, try nobody, nobody, whatever. nobody's dunking over cars no more, bro. Yeah. 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 No, well, no, I'm not even saying not take the cars out. That's the shit that matters the fucking man. Up. Bring, they don't bring kids out <laughs> no, 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 no more, bro. <laughs> drop, take away the props, take away the fucking jump ball with the trampoline built in. None of that shit. I'm saying basic dunks. Mm-hmm. Basketball's been out for what, a hundred years? Probably. All the dunks are done. Unless someone could do two double backflips and two a dunk every game, then that's new shit. But if you can't, you're not pulling shit off. Because like when people are like, oh, LeBron's dunk. I'm like, people were doing that in the 90s. Yeah. That dunk is not fucking popular. Kobe's dunk. People are like, yo! And I'm like, people did Kobe's dunk way back in the day before Kobe. He just popularized it. He didn't create it. Now, yeah. Dr. J... That motherfucker created all the dunks we know today. Right. All of them. That's what I'm saying. But, like, I think there is things that could still be invented, but it's going to be a while before you actually see those things. Yeah. It's not like every year there's going to be yes. a new trick. Back in the day, people loved it because it hadn't been done, yes. and everything's blowing your mind. I agree, like, but fuck that dunk competition. <laughs> you, motherfuckers, <laughs> you motherfuckers knew you could do better. Yeah, exactly. And, and we can't do And literally, like... I don't know who was even in it. Oh. Steph Curry, fuck you. you should uh, yeah, all Steph Texas Curry's a, going out there. All Texas dunk. off a off a backboard. You know what I'm saying? Just there's a just mix it up. Something you I, wouldn't do in a game. That's yeah. all. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. It's something you wouldn't do in a game. Exactly. It doesn't take anything. A Compatompe Metopolis or whatever. <laughs> was he in there? Oh, He's man. got the longest name I've ever that fucking seen in my life. Nah, none of the, none of the fucking stars want to take part in that shit. And that's why it's trash. Oh, okay. Oh, so well, then, yeah, you should have started off with that. <laughs> I thought you meant it was well, all I A-listers. thought you figured that. I thought you would have known that. Yeah. Just, just based so, off like, the fact that I didn't let's know what the dude's name is. Let's say it's 2004 necklace. dunk competition, and it's like Wally Zerbiak is the headliner. Okay. All right. Yeah, back the And I'm expected to I get a I he was a shooter, though. So he, <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he wouldn't He's the greatest there. shooting out of all time. That's the point, time. is yeah. no one would want to see him at a dunk competition. No. So if it's all the second string guys, it's not the stars. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Well, I mean, was Shaq in it back in the day? 
I doubt it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think he was. Yeah. But every single one? No, I mean, no. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not like he's probably in there, but you know, he's not doing the super flash. The dunk. <laughs> Shaq is not jumping yeah. over the car. By the way, yeah, I just want to fucking get something off my chest. Shaq, I'm sick of your fucking ass. <laughs> all right, I'm so sick of seeing and hearing you all over the goddamn radio. TV, YouTube, that fucking commercial of him singing in the shower, <laughs> the don't you leave me, or whatever the fuck it is, is playing on everything nowadays. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly. And that shit's annoying, because it plays constantly, and everyone on the internet fucking loves it, well, we'll put and into, they laugh at it. We'll put them in the band with The Rock. Y'all, you have to y'all be... Get to, y'all get to do everything, and you're everywhere. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, you have to be a small, simple-minded fuck to think that Shaq or The Rock is, like, top-tier quality funny shit. If you sit around and you watch TikTok videos... Of Shaq or The Rock and and, you laugh? And Shaq and The Rock, and to you, that is, like, pitiful comedy? That's your brain right there. Yeah. You you have to accept it. Yeah, no. Yeah. You, You definitely have... Finger fucked your cousin at some point. Uh, oh yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I like Shaq. This shit. It's, it's just funny. Again, if we're talking about Shaq, but that's back in his at the day. But that's in his. That's in his uh, profession. Yeah. Him clowning basketball players. So that shit's funny. That's, that's in <laughs> yeah. another life. When that's he's, not, that's yeah. not him going out and doing no. the fucking right. commercials. The commercials. About. The fucking uh, like the new one. Like I said on the other one. I, I don't give a fuck if I talked about him here. But like the other Shaq commercial, when that little pissant kid is like, <laughs> Shaq, you you used to play basketball? And then Shaq's like, yeah, little man. <laughs> like, yeah, he fucking did, you eight-year-old. Like, learn your, don't, don't know Shaq. But it's if you're so not going, crazy to fucking think but that there's people that aren't, or kids, yeah, that so aren't going to know that Shaq was even a basketball player yeah, is just mind-blowing. Yeah. Or not know that The Rock was a wrestler, like a full-time yeah. wrestler at one point. Yeah. Like, well, he's a WWE? Like, yeah, motherfucker. He was. If you're not That's gonna, The Rock. He's yeah. going to take your face off. <laughs> I'm just going to say it again. Oh, my God. If you are into something and you don't know everything about it, don't claim to be a massive fan. And I'll say that to the fucking day I die. Because if you are investing your time into something, and if anybody that doesn't invest their time into it knows more about yeah, it than but you... but see, now I, I, I don't think that's fully fair because it's like, well, what if you're super into working out and now you're a massive fan of The Rock because he's got the Iron Paradise or whatever the fuck <laughs> it's called. Or you're like, oh, I love basketball, but I love Shaq, like his voice and like what he says on commentary or whatever but the look fuck. into it. Yeah, I know, but Don't I'm just, just saying surface level. There's shit. other ways of like that's not their thing anymore. Like they retired from what they did when they were young. No, I know. I just I can't imagine them. No, no, I, I, I can't imagine if again fuck them out. Chat Hulk Hogan, but imagine only knowing Hulk Hogan the racist, yeah, and not one of the prolific wrestlers. Right. Imagine you. You hear of GTA back in the day when it was just like, oh, wow. Instead of GTA as the most popular game of all time that makes the most money. Because GTA now is pretty much Blue's Clues. Where back in the day, GTA was pretty much X-rated porn. Like, to all kids, GTA was the top echelon of how dirty you could get. But the world has changed so much. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. You know Everyone's say, desensitized folks, by shit. Folks just gotta go up on their own shit, though. Yeah. Ultimately, so yeah. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah. as I told you, we lived in life's prime, and I mean, that's something mm-hmm. that we'll always know. Yeah. So, well, the internet's yeah. ruined everything. We lived at like the the right time, yeah. like right at the end of like everything that I want to remember. I can still, yeah. Like I don't know. Like I said, when kids go up, they're gonna remember things of their own, and I think that'll be cool to hear them talk about. Cause I mean, I'm like, ah. Uh, Maybe I'll get old enough to where I'll look into it because I ain't got shit else to do. Mm-hmm. But we got cooler shit, I feel <laughs> like. Like, the fucking music award shows, they don't mm-hmm. do those like that no more. No. Nope. They don't do video game award shows uh-huh. anymore. Man, video and, game and, awards. And the awards don't fucking matter. That's not what it's about. It's the, yeah, like, it's, 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 it's the just, spectacle. It's the, yeah. yeah. It, it, like I'm bringing so all sick. that shit together. Like, like you got 50 like, Cent at a video game award show performing, but hey, who gives a fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It was exactly. the hottest, hottest thing in o, in O3 right yes. now, and we yeah. and we showing off the hottest. And game I just want to fucking get this out there right now. Yeah, I was born in 1997. 
Okay? So all... Because I know people always like, Austin, you don't remember shit from 2002. Bitch, I remember more shit from 2002 than you ever fucking will. Yeah. So don't even fuck also, with me. Also, back then with the video game awards, the reason why it was so fucking cool, though, is because... Back then, how else were you going to see these video game trailers unless they came exactly. on, like, if you had cable, maybe. Yeah. Or if you've seen them in a magazine, but you didn't see the trailer, you've seen pictures, right? Yeah. But now these fucking kids can just go on YouTube and watch a trailer as many times as they want, so there's no excitement mm-hmm. about seeing it on a war read show. about a leak. Well, I'm yeah. not, to me, it's not even about just kids. It's us, too. I don't even like how we, like, okay, I didn't even know... That Horizon Zero Dawn is coming out. Yeah. Why? Because there's so much fucking shit going on in the world. We know about everything. Mm-hmm. There's not one thing that's going on in the world that we don't know about. We or all know about COVID. About it, or, yeah, that you can't find out about. So it's just very annoying. And again, it's oversaturated because you can't keep up. Where back in our day, and I know you go, oh, boom or whatever, but back in our day, even if it was 10 years ago, we all still had that, like, fellowship of we were all invested in the same thing. Right. We all knew when it was coming out, all that shit. Where now, you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I seen that four days ago. Yeah. Five well, days nothing ago. nothing is as exciting when you have it at your fingertips Damn. at all times. There's something about that, like suspense that needs to be built up like even like a tv show right Mm -hmm. it's so much better having to like it sucks having to wait week to week for a new episode but when that shit comes out you remember it more you're more stoked on it because you're not watching nine episodes in a row that you're not gonna remember And that's a thing that's underrated about everything we're talking about because people can buy shit digitally now. It's just having to go to fucking releases. There's not a there's not a midnight release that I don't remember. Yeah, exactly. no, I love yeah. that shit. I love midnight release. I love having to go to like a rental store and having to be like, okay, which one do I really want though? And you have to make a decision and you have like Man. these walls of movies and video games, whatever that's, you're renting. Yeah. And like, I don't know, there's something exciting about that. Because you actually want to watch it. Right. When you, at least for me, I'm not talking for you all because obviously you're on your two fucking men. Same with all you fucking listeners. But I'm saying for me, when I'm walk, going on Netflix or whatever, 99.9 of the shit I don't give a fuck about. Yeah. I don't want to watch it. You get more caught up in being like, what do I actually exactly. want to watch right here? Yeah. Right exactly. now. Then, like, you spend more time trying to figure that out than you do actually watching what you're trying to watch. Yeah, because there's so much. Right, that's what I'm and saying. And then you have, like, too much. let's say if Tyus is, uh, he's like, uh, hey, you should watch, you know, a Netflix show. And then you're like, oh, you should watch a Hulu show. And then someone's like, oh, HBO Max show, Amazon show. It's like, okay, but I can't go to all these constantly. Right. But that's how they expect you to do it nowadays. And it's very annoying. That's why at the end of the day... HBO Max is just the best. Oh, yeah. It's the best streaming service. I don't know. Dias, what do you think? It produced a TV show that I'm interested in, so I'll take it. And on top of that, it was giving us fire-ass movies last year. Woo! Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that shit was cool. Yeah. I just feel like, as a whole, it has the best most to offer. I've never had a single problem with HBO Max, like, streaming-wise. Yeah. And every other app... I have problems. Paramount like Hulu, Plus is second to me, though. Huh? For sure. Paramount Plus is second in, like, the stuff that they have. Oh, yeah. Just because sure. I'm an MTV nut, so yeah. I ran through that shit in, like, a month. And for him, it's good because it actually works. Yeah. For yeah, here, I can stream it to the TV and shit because I don't even have it on my PlayStation. We don't even have an app yet. Yeah. Here, when we try, it's, uh, what, 45 minutes for a 20-minute episode? Oh, man. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it just depends. Like, sometimes we've went to go watch it, and then we have no issue at all. Mm-hmm. Like, we just make it through the whole episode. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of depends just on what you watch, but uh, I just, I know Netflix isn't for me anymore. It's too, uh, it's too shitty. Yeah, for, for me, real. when it comes to Netflix, it's basically just because of Seinfeld. Yeah. Like, that's literally it. Yeah, for real. I don't watch anything else on there. Well, actually, I canceled my Netflix, and then uh, they double charge me when I haven't had it for over a month. So now, fuck Netflix forever. Yeah, outside and kind of, of almost fuck Seinfeld. At least Jerry, because like you don't need the money, bitch. No. Give me my money back. Yeah, 
I don't, I don't want Netflix. Mm-hmm. I've seen Seinfeld enough. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't need Seinfeld. it on Netflix. I, I don't want to see fucking QB Halloween. I don't want to see any <laughs> more Adam Sandler shit, so fuck out yeah, of here. It's pretty that. rare that Netflix comes out with something I care about, to be honest. Yeah. Besides, I think, yeah, Squid Game's probably the last thing. Yeah. Because everything else that's been popular that's been on Netflix, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't look interesting. Right. Uh, I also do appreciate Hulu. I think it has some good shit on there. Yeah, Hulu's got a great. Um, and I like how Hulu has like the shit. for FX. It's like the next day. Yeah. And like ABC, NBC, like mm-hmm. all that shit. That shit's nice. Uh, but HBO Max, just something yeah. about it for movies for sure. It's the best. Oh yeah, it's by nice far. docs too. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. The uh, Woodstock '99 one. Yeah. That's the only one I've watched. Ooh, we watched Juice World. Oh, that was on HBO Max. Yeah, that was oh. the same people. That, yeah, was it? Mm-hmm. Who who's the same people? It's uh, music, music Box. Bill yeah. Simmons. Shout out Bill Simmons from Bill Simmons. From Bill Simmons. He oh, made yeah. one for DMX too. I was in the middle of watching that one. Yeah, I haven't started. Pretty nice. Yet. I want to. Yeah. He made one for Alanis Morissette, Kenny G. They didn't die. They don't have to be dead. I don't think to start. Oh, I thought he's only doing dead people. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I think Juice World just happened to be dead. Oh, okay. No one else that he made one well, for. Well, DMX died. Oh, right. You yeah, said yeah, them yeah. two first, so I was, was like, oh, it's a pattern. Yeah. So when you said Alanis Morissette, I'm like, oh my god, yeah. did I miss... Did she? Did Alanis die? But she played God before. And, oh, uh, Dogma. Yeah, Dogma. Remember that? Yeah. She doesn't talk at all, but she plays God. I always forget about that. Yeah. What a movie. <sighs> so good. But I think uh, besides COVID, uh, I can't really think of anything... Oh, well, we uh, binge-watched... All of what we do in the shadows. Oh so we gotta talk God. about that. Okay. So, Tyus, what if I told you there was a comedy that you should watch because it's hilarious and stupid all at the same time? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna tell you to watch it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch and it. And it's I mean, action-packed. Yeah. I watched a comedy slam the other day that I actually thought was funny, but it had to be with people that I knew. But it was, it was pretty alright. Oh, what was it? Um, it was... Forgot what the fuck it was called. It was, I think it was like Boogie's World or some shit like that. But it was pretty much Demarcus Cousins roast, and he brought like yeah. the Golden State Warriors and shit like that. But Mike Epps hosted it. Uh, they had Carlos Miller there. Uh, I forgot who else they had there too. Some light skinned dude, but they were all funny though. Carlos so, Miller is coming to the area. Did you see that? Is oh, he? Wow. With uh, like all the people from the 80, Wild and Out, the eighty five South Show. No, it's Damn. it's called the No Cap Tour, and it's like DC Young Fly, him, uh, what's his name, Chico Bean or whatever. Yeah. All those dudes basically are. It's I this will tour. a thousand percent be honest right here, right now. Yeah. I can't understand anything DC Young Fly says. Anytime he's on Wild and Out, I laugh <laughs> because I know I'm supposed to, but I don't hear <laughs> shit he says. Chico oh, Bean, sheep. Chico Bean. No, I don't want to be racist, so I laugh. <laughs> Chico Bean, that's a funny motherfucker. That is a funny motherfucker. Same with Carlos. He, he was on Game I feel like DC Young but DC Fly Young is, Fly is like literally watching <laughs> Chris Tucker though. Like exactly. it, it sound they sound the same to me. No, 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 no. Chris Tucker, you can make out. But DC Young Fly talks so fucking fast that I'm like, what you're spilling out words. You're just that's all I fucking that's all I hear. <laughs> but people are dying in the crowd, and I'm like, hey, hey, you're you you're killing it. it so yeah. I'm right here with you. I just can't understand you. So that's you know, shout out DC Youngfly though. You're, you're <laughs> killing it. You're one of the biggest people of the world right now. I'm saying I go see him. I think it'd be yeah. fun. I just know that if he would be like spewing stuff like that, <laughs> and he's like talking about like his dead mom, and I'm like, oh. Sorry, I, I didn't hear the delivery, DC. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear the punchline. My bad. I, I don't think he goes by DC, you, you think? Oh, I don't know. See, that, I don't DC? know. I don't, there's no way I could be around gangsters. Like Dr. Dre. Do you call him Dre or Doctor? Huh. Never thought about it. Because I don't think I'm... I think it'd just be Dre, bro. But, yeah, probably. but the thing is, two things. I've One... Heard, I've heard most folks call him Dre. I'm white. Not from California. Not a gangster. Right. So if I yeah. walk up to him meeting him for the first time, yo, what up, Dre? He's not going to appreciate that at all. That's going to be disrespectful. Yeah, but you think he would like being called Doc? Hey, Doc. See, I, I mean, maybe. Because it would be like, oh, okay, yeah, this dude's funny. This dude's funny. Everyone calls me Dre, but this motherfucker calls me Doc. That's true. So that's I don't know. I, I think it depends on the confidence level you have going mm-hmm. into it. Yeah. Because like, people are like, yeah, with Eminem, you say M. Never in my life. 
I would call him Marshall Mathers. <laughs> if I seen him, like, yo, what up, Marsh? Marsh. Yeah, I, anything that's not basic ass shit, because everyone calls him that, right? But with like Snoop Dogg, come on, that you're gonna you call him to. by whatever they that's go what by. Snoop Dogg, you have to say Snoop Dogg. But Dre, I'm, saying I'm not you saying motherfucker. No, I'm you not. I'm not walking them. up to Snoop Dogg and being like, "What's up, Snoop Dogg?" And be like, "What's up, Snoop?" And he gonna take it for whatever whatever it is. Yeah, that's true. he's cool with it. Like, no, I'm talking about this motherfucker right now, sitting here talking about how if he meets him, <laughs> he's gonna call him Marshall. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm no. not gonna call him M. Maybe not Fuck him. No. But you're gonna be like, "What's up, Eminem?" Hell no. Yes, you're not no. gonna. Unless that's a weird exchange, though. Yeah, yeah. Weird, like, but my thing, up, but again, unless everyone else in the room is calling him Marshall, then sure. Yeah. But they you... built a life and a career out of that name. It's yeah. disrespectful. It's like if you had a nickname mm-hmm. and that's what you preferred to go by, yeah. and then people call you by your birth name. Disrespect. Yeah, but who's got the story? I don't especially, give a fuck what especially he in public. I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I just want to. I just want to say this. Uh, Eminem, if you, when you're out there, I don't give a fuck what you think about. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. And I don't give a fuck about you. It's my story, right? So I don't give a fuck what he thinks. I can call him whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I, I, could, call, I could call I could call him fucking you, Zach. He's gonna steer, he's gonna steer off in another direction just like he did MGK. Yeah. Just wait on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you'll be like, man, oh, you know, that would be worth it. Yeah. That's what you should do. Actually, you know what? I take it all back. T- call him Marshall when you meet him. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. or actually, just pretend like you just don't even know who he is at all. Yeah, but yo, what up, Matt? Like disrespect him so bad to where on mm-hmm. his next diss track he makes a reference to you. <laughs> so you'll always I have a Jewish kid the other day. <laughs> you'll be the next stand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be like the opposite though. I have people didn't know who the hater. fuck I was. <laughs> he would have never wrote me a letter. <laughs> that is, that's perfect. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my 100% stuff every single time with a celebrity. Hillbilly Jim. When I found out it's Hillbilly Jim, what did I say? I said Hillbilly. I'm not calling him fucking Jim. And you guys are like, you better call him Jim. And I'm like, I will not. Because I guarantee you, no one calls him Hillbilly. I don't know, man. I just don't I, walk I up don't to know. people and, and say their name because I met him and I was just like, what's up? Yeah. yeah. I, I want to have a fucking story. I want something that I'm going to remember. I think I just love kayfabe. Huh? I just love kayfabe. Like, I, like, I guess I'm the remember. That's what I'm, I'm not going to call him his real name. Like, if his, let's say if uh, Stone Cold's real name is Roy, I'm not going to be like, hey, Roy, that's disrespectful. Call him right. Stone Cold. Well, first of all, I just don't really call people by their name, so that's that's the obvious thing here. I don't think I would meet <laughs> anybody. I wouldn't be like, what's up, Stone Cold? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, John Cena? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, John Cena. I would just be like, hey. wow, I can't, you know, nice to meet so, you. So you're, but no name. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, if I, like, if I met CM Punk, I'm not going to be like, hey, Phil. <laughs> it's so like, like what up Denzel I thought Washington? when I met Natty I just felt <laughs> yeah. natural to call her that like she walked up and I was like thanks for the picture Natty right okay see so yeah, that makes sense yeah. but, Denzel, but that's what she goes right? by okay. it's out there, there in go. the open now Marshall is a little bit different because he also has like the <laughs> thanks LP thanks for the picture okay. Marshall he's probably looking at you like what the fuck <laughs> let, let me take music out no personas <laughs> okay okay uh, let, let's uh, George Clooney yeah if I go up to him I'm calling him the Clooney <laughs> okay. I'm not calling him George. I'm not calling him George Clooney. I'm be like, yo, what up, the Clooney? Because he's gonna remember that fucking shit. Yeah. No That's one is funny. going. To yeah, that'll, that'll, out. yeah that'll, that'll bring special around. Yeah, shit. exactly. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Like, yes. Well, that's the first. Yeah. Because do you as security like the exactly. <laughs> <what's, laughs> I was just like, you can do whatever the fuck you want to. <laughs> the Clooney, I love you. The Clooney. <laughs> like I got the story, so I don't give a shit what happens to me. That's how I look at everything in life. A thousand percent. Whatever's happened, I got the story for it. So, whatever happens, happens. I mean, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. But I, I still think it's an awkward interaction. Yeah. And I don't but really like, want to okay, be there to witness like, <laughs> Pius, let's say this, because you're kind of uh, playing the fence here. Let's say, 12 years, we're the number one podcast in the world. Yeah. You have $35 million in the bank, 400 billion fucking followers. Someone walks up to you in London, you've never been there, and they're like, oh, what's up, Tyus? <laughs> You're like motherfucker. You better call me Tyus Husky. Who the fuck do you think you are? No, it's it's fine. He can call me just my first name. He doesn't have to call my full government out there. Yeah, okay, see, you don't care, and that's what I would be like. I'm going to tell them. Don't people, call me by my name, you weird fuck. <laughs> like I, I yeah, find that I, weird. I would, I would be like, "What's up?" But I don't know you. So 
Hey, pay is fine. See, but I Even be... if you do know me, I don't really want, like, unless, like, you're really trying to get my attention and you've called me over and over again and I'm not hearing you, then, yeah, call me by my name. But initially, yeah. initially, don't be like, hey, what's up, Blake? If I walk, like, <laughs> that sounds that's so weird. weird. Yeah. Now, now that you say it, I'm like, oh, that does sound weird. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. I, I don't ever walk, like, if I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, good morning, Austin. It's your, I honestly don't even remember the last time I've heard you say my name. That's probably the first time in since 2006. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he gave me a swirly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why your hair will forever be in that shape. It's true. It's true. Got the sexy locks. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> sexy locks. <laughs> <coughs> so, I thought you were about to say something. And oh, no, didn't, sorry. And so I was waiting. No, I, I, no. I got all my uh, my shit out. I got. I mean, I always have plenty of shit, but you know, I know no one wants to hear me just uh, rant about uh, how I treat celebrities or how I want to be treated. You know. Yeah, I mean, shit, go into it. I mean, maybe not celebrities, but whatever. that's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what we just did. So you know, is there anything that you wanted to talk about? Because he wanted, he got his, I got mine out. Is there uh, anything that Blake wants? The B L A K E. Uh, not exactly, but I will bring something up. Okay. Have you heard about? Uh, it's funny how we're. I'm like every week now. It's gonna be me just shitting on Motley Crue. I think that's gonna be like my bit. <laughs> hey, now. shout out about to ask me if I heard anything about them. The answer is no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was just gonna go into it because uh, I know that neither one of you are up to date on your current Motley Crue news. I have been watching Pam and Tommy I on Hulu, though. News, I oh, yeah. Music. Okay, watching... well, Pam and Tommy is actually a pretty decent show. I recommend it. You'd probably like it, actually. Yeah, real good. And he had to force me to watch it. You know that I will not watch a drama, and I'm watching it, Taya. So that says a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go back into what we do in the shadows, because we didn't even recommend it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But Eddie Vedder and Nikki Six have been uh, feuding on like Twitter and in real life, and like talking shit about each other's bands. Mm-hmm. And um, Eddie Vedder being the singer of Pearl Jam, Nikki Six being the bass player of Motley Crue, for those who may not know. Uh, and basically, they've been going back and forth. And um, basically, the guitarist of Pearl Jam ended up taking Motley Crue's side versus the member of his own band. What the fuck? Yeah. And, um, so it's just like these, you know, these guys that are like in their fifties now at this point and Pearl Jam was a part of taking out, taking away the career of Motley Crue. And so like, it's just like, I think you did the damage, like just leave this guy alone. Yeah. You're beating a dead horse. Yeah. At this point, better. And I'm not a huge fan of either band really. I've. (laughs) <laughs> Neither band is who I'd want to listen to. Uh-uh. Um, I would say I definitely like more Pearl Jam songs than <laughs> yeah, that's Molly Crew. So but... Fucking funny about you is you're like I don't give a shit about celebrity news. I don't stay into that shit. And then bands you don't give a fuck about. Oh no, music news. I'm up to date. No, I know, but I'm saying, but it's about bands you don't care. Oh yeah, yeah you yeah. don't listen to. You hate the bands like Trapped. When all oh, of that yeah. shit was going on about Trapped every day, he was like, did you hear about Trapped? I'm like, Blake, I haven't heard Trapped since 03. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't know what I the fuck I love happened. rock and roll beef. It yeah. is my favorite. Like, it's just Trapped so funny. is the stupidest motherfuckers. Like, during, like, when Trump was, like, in his, like, highest reign, yeah. and Trapped was, like, his biggest supporter, <laughs> and they, like, talked about how, uh, they were talking shit to, like, a newer band, and about how they would outsell them any given day of the week, right? <laughs> and then whatever band it was, they just played a show for like 5,000 people, right? Yeah. And then Trapped are seen playing a show on the same night, and there's like 50 people there. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Oh my and God. he's talking about how COVID's fake and like all this shit. Oh just like my. He's a flat earther, I'm sure. A, I mean, I would imagine. Yeah. But like, just embarrassing. But yeah, I do love rock and roll news. I love like the. I just watched like an hour the other night of the Corey Taylor MGK feud. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Like, I just love seeing Corey Taylor rip him apart. I love seeing anyone rip MGK. <laughs> it's like, so easy to do. Yeah. 
He needs, if, uh, one thing, if he just takes that fucking earring off, maybe people <laughs> won't shit on him as, as much. Yeah, I mean, he's just a weird fuck. Like, I don't... The music... I definitely don't like the music. It is I like, mean, how could you like the music when his lyric is, all I want is emo girl? Yeah. Ugh. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I do Trash. have to... Uh, uh, I have to shout out Blake, though, for, because the last episode that came out, when I said, put up MGK right here, and then he's fucking... Doing the drum thing, <laughs> what he's th- when you put in the gif, I died. I was laughing my fucking ass off. Yeah, he's not gonna sit until I was like, oh, it's it's saved up there forever. <laughs> the yeah, there, and I was like, yeah, if you ever want to see it, that little gif will probably be in top five gifts of our friendship for the yeah. years to come. I love it, and I love making fun of MGK. Yeah. I just feel like, but I I will say this, and I'm gonna defend MGK on this. Is like the dudes always had a little bit of an interest in rock, and way before he was into the rock world, he was already in the rock world. Yeah. He was like in SLC Punk. He played Tommy Lee in the Motley Crue movie. Like he said, nobody likes you when you're 23, and at least 72 of his fucking rap songs. Yeah. So like he had that already. So seeing him come into rock, not that shocking. I'm just saying Eminem. I don't think was the driving force. To make, I'm tired of the whole like this narrative that like Eminem ran him out of rap. It's yeah. like it's possible for him to have another interest, for him to like more than one kind exactly. of music. No one said he had to rap for the rest of his fucking life. Yeah, if he wants to make the shittiest pop punk of all time, he's allowed to do that. And what's hilarious. If he wants to make songs for 12 year old little girls, you hear this? He can do that, yeah. and that's what he's doing. He gets to fuck Megan Fox. I don't. Yeah. What does Eminem get the fuck? His chin strap beard. That's what he gets the fuck. Apparently, so, guys, is the rumor yeah, from what well, I've heard. Been, Not if there's anything wrong with that. Technically, he fucked kids on Epstein's Island, too. That's what the rumor is. So. Shit, who didn't? Just saying. Tom Hanks did it, too. How much money would you make to have to, you know, take apart an Epstein Island, you think? I would say at least five trail. Your Damn. soul. <laughs> soul. <laughs> But uh, before we get into the uh, the music portion, because I'm sure it's probably nearing uh, that area, yeah. uh, we should probably branch away from music, so then it's not just a music overload from the middle into the end. Okay. So uh, okay, you're right about that. yeah. So okay, so what we do in the shadows, real quick. There we go. Uh, so Tyus. It is, and I, I, I can't believe I just said your name after saying how weird it is to say something. <laughs> I know, I, was, I wasn't even going to point it you out. you know, fuck me, right? <laughs> but what we do in the shadows is a show about vampires, okay? I'm but already living, checked out. But listen, living in modern day New York, okay? And it is absolutely hilarious. There's... And, and the like first... they're dressed like they're from like the 1400s, and they talk that way, yeah. and they can like turn <laughs> oh into gosh. bats and fly. But they're dealing with like nowadays public and shit. It is There's absolutely this, in the hilarious. first episode. The uh, the husband and wife, and again they're English because they're old OG vampires from the 14th century or whatever. And they're walking in the crosswalk like in a park, and this guy bumps into him, and he's like. <laughs> Go back to your own country. And the vampire is like, what did you bloody say? And then he's like, I'm about to go eat that motherfucker. And then, <laughs> and then she's like, no, don't, babe. Please don't eat him. And he's like, I'm hungry. I want blood. And then he's like, he looks delicious. And then like, he just, they warp over there, eat him. And then they come back, blood splattered on their face. And the woman, the wife to that dude who talks shit to them is like, babe, where'd you go? And then all of a sudden, blood just drops all over her. And then they're like, ah, well. And like doing all this fucking stupid shit, and it's yeah. hilarious. Hilarious. Because I don't like vampires. Yeah, me either. I I, like it's the fuck. legitimately the only thing that's ever had a vampire in it that I've. What about little vampires? I mean, I like daybreakers, but that was in the future. Okay, yeah, little vampires. Never seen that. I always wanted to though. Little vampires. I got it on my shit. Disney I bought Channel. that bitch. <laughs> I love that fucking movie. It's in my top five. But like, uh, I Am Legend, one of the worst movies of all time. Right? I think it's vampires, but yeah. I thought it was vampires. They couldn't make it in the sun. If they got in the sun, they died. I don't know. But, but yeah, what would you do the But even more so, like, than it being vampires, like, they're, they take it to where, like, they just make it all funny. Like, it's never, they like... deal with, like, Uber It's and... never serious, no. boring conversation. It's just, like, fun yeah. and ridiculous, and every episode is just crazy, and it's, like... 
violent and they can say whatever they want and like as the show progresses like as you see like they've made more money now there's like fucking trolls like huge fucking things that they have to deal with they have to like go on top of a building and these gargoyles like that are a part of a building <laughs> end up talking they're like uh they're like and coming to life like you know how gargoyles you think of them as like oh they're just like you know cement whatever yeah. but in this show they're like uh so we have to talk about something and also the gargoyles are like shit what'd you say Oh, hell no, I look down there, and, like, the other person's talking to the other gargoyle, and then the gargoyles start shit-talking each other. Yeah. And then all it's the other gargoyles around the city. Uh, oh, okay, bet. Yeah, 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 it is amazing, so. Anyone there's out there that's watching ten episodes show. a season, there's three seasons, and, like, every episode is different, like, yeah. it, it's so much fun. And just shout out to this real quick. Nandor, the main fucking vampire, <laughs> looks just like Seth Rollins, yeah. and it, when you watch it, it makes it even fucking funnier yeah. if you imagine Seth Rollins being the head vampire. I'd never so. thought of it, and then this motherfucker said it halfway through season two, mind you, and it completely changed the entire perspective of the show. I've seen it from episode one, I just didn't want to ruin it for him, but like, that's and all it changed, I fucking like, I, it, And usually that would ruin it, because I'm like, oh, now I can't see, and now I just see Seth Rollins. But in this time, I'm like, oh no, it's even fucking funnier <laughs> imagining him as a fucking, like, I guess Iranian vampire or whatever. Because, yeah. yeah, it legitimately looks just like him now. Right. But, yeah, such a good show. Fantastic. Such a good show. Way better than uh, Letterkenny's new season, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I can't even get through the new season of Letterkenny, I won't even lie. I couldn't finish that it. That shit dropped off. That yeah. fell off, man. Yeah, I hate to hear it. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is a little bit, it ain't great no more. It has no heart. Yeah. It feels very, like... You can tell they got the money. Right. Yeah, you can tell let's they got just, the... Let's just do what we do and nothing outside of that. Yeah. Whatever jokes that people love, let's just put 50 of those in this episode and not take it anywhere. Yeah. And let's not have fighting anymore. Yeah, let's have no development of it. Yeah, I don't even know if they smoke cigarettes anymore. Mm -mm. Like, they don't smoke weed anymore. They don't yeah. really drink that much anymore. Yeah, like, it's just not the same. Yeah, I don't understand it. If you have a... Uh, but same. what is another good show, though? Oh, yeah. Uh, recommend because I I also think it's just cool if we just if we should make recommendations to each other of new yeah, shows to check be out. Only people to be also recommending shows to me. By the way, I am not a TV watcher, guys. <laughs> well, that's fine. I'm just saying for the listeners. Yeah. But like, uh, what is it? What have we been watching? Um, only murders in the building or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally started that. It's yeah. not that bad for real. That show's cool. That's also on Hulu. You might you also would like that. love that because you like murder shit. It's like murder mystery, but like a comedy, and Selena Gomez is in it. And you can't, and I mean, come on. Steve Martin, Selena. Martin Short, and it, like they create a podcast based on a murder that happens in the building they live in, and they're trying to figure out what happened or whatever. Um, Very, like it's uh, funny, but also like I just a like good the idea. murder mystery type of deal. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You probably like it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those two shows are great. Because I'm trying to not watch shit that I've watched. Yeah, I'm trying to branch out. Yeah, find yeah. Stuff. yeah. I tried to branch out and I watched this stupid ass horror movie on Hulu. Oh my god. What was it? Jesus. I'm almost ashamed to say it. It's not like anybody would know about it, but it was just the idea of it and the actor. I don't, I don't know who he was, but it was kind of bad. But the movie name was called Puka. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Puka, yeah. I yep. started it, but I never finished it. I, uh, yeah, I hated myself because, like, I I put it on just for it to be background for mm -hmm. a little bit, but I did pay it attention for about an hour while I was laying down. But I'm just on my phone, and they just played this fucking song for the Puka doll, and I I ended up like hearing that shit like a couple of days after, just just working. I was like, man, I I kind of hate that fucking movie just off just off the fact that I remembered it because it was the corniest shit ever. Like, the movie, even the ending was corny as hell. Yeah, I remember we yeah. tried watching that, and I got up, and I was like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, the I'm fucking, not before this. I'm done. Yeah, did you hear the song? The song that plays at the beginning? Yeah. Or, about the doll, I guess? Yeah, 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 the doll thing. Hey, yeah. now tell a pook. Uh, yeah, yes. man, I was <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> I yeah, didn't know that I shit mean, was still on Out movie. of everything, horror movies are by far the most hit or miss. Oh, my God. Like, you can yeah. either... I like You'll see movies, too. gold... 
like what oh, no, once I like every couple of years. Yeah, I like cheesy. Candy. No, 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 yeah, yeah, me too. But there's some horror movies that are just bad. Right, right. Just that bad one of them. Yeah, yeah. There's some exactly. that are like this is still fun and campy and a good time. killer clowns of outer space. Right. It's terrible, but it's so fucking funny because of how terrible it is. Yeah, there's there's several of those like um uh Dead End. Mm-hmm. Right, you've seen Dead End? Uh maybe. Probably when I was in high school, I was on a binge on. I won't movies, lie, but I can't that, remember because they were all piled together. That movie does fuck with me. It's shitty, and it's a funny movie because of how shitty it is. But there's one scene that does fuck with me every time we're driving back from oh, the client's yeah, house, sure. and you know what it, what it is. Yeah, yeah. It fucks me up every time. Either the woman or the baby carriage, because that's really all yeah, that does I, happen. So <laughs> I always record when we're driving back late, and we, it, there's no street lights. I record my phone. Because I'm like, if a wh- if a woman in a white dress appears, I want to capture it. If a baby carriage appears, I want to capture it. Yeah. So the entire time, from the minute we leave somewhere to the minute we get back here, I'm like, but it never happens. It never happens. So. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> but horror not. movies, like, they can be shitty but still be fun. Like, uh, what's that one movie that you used to, like, fucking love? Dead Tone? Is that what it's called? Oh my god, Dead Tone. Yeah, uh, Nick Cannon. No, not Nick Cannon. Uh, uh, there was, Omarion? Yeah, I don't know. There was some famous people in that thing. Yeah. Did you there ever was, see that? I never heard of it. <laughs> oh my god. All was, these people like get trapped in a house and <laughs> like there's one phone and the person, they can only, the only phone call that gets made is from the guy that's like kidnapping them to them. And they, he's like making them all like do certain things, and like uh, <laughs> it is kind of corny, but it is uh, a fun. Uh, time. It sounds sounds like a there's this one average scene plot. where because yeah. it's the yeah, early two thousands fucking horror movie. This dude is you know sorry, but X rated episode. He's eating this girl out, and then all of a sudden she's like, uh, "What was that?" And he was like, "No, come on, baby," you know, and like trying to whatever. And yeah. then all of a sudden you just see. Whoosh, of axe go through him, and then blood is all over, you know, the area, but they yeah. don't show the area. But he's still alive with the axe in him, still trying <laughs> to eat her out. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. But again, that early 2000s horror movie is just funny. Yeah. Like, it's so fucking awful. Uh, and Thanks Killing Yeah I was just about to say There's stupid shit Like Thanks Killing Yeah Is that, that the same gross. one With that fat motherfucker Yeah that one's gross Is that the yeah, same Yeah 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 That one's a little too much for me Yeah that yeah. one is pretty the, How gross. the movie starts out It's uh, you know A beautiful woman She's got You know Probably sized L Boobs But then as soon as that stops It's the nastiest movie On the face <laughs> of this planet It is yeah. vile and grotesque and I would never use that word about anything. Yeah. I've never seen a bathroom scene shot from the view of the bottom of the toilet before. So just imagine how that goes. Ugh, yeah. Uh, terrible. Pretty gross movie. Yeah. Um, what about Skins, though? Ugh. Not really a horror movie. You ever, did you ever watch that? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> I no knew, one I, listens. He, just, he didn't even need to answer for me to say that Ty's no way would watch that. No way. So. I think we would have to pay Ty some money just to watch it with us. Okay, but there's some things that aren't horror, right? Mm. But they're so scary and they fuck with you in a totally different way. And that's one of those things. It'll make you feel like you just watched the scariest movie ever, but it's not scary. It is so disgusting mm. and... <laughs> so... it, But it's beautiful. It's, it's not everyone. It, everyone should watch it. See, that's my thing. I think with horror movies, like I don't do the I don't do the gory shit. It's not gory. No, yeah, it's not gory. It's not grotesque. It's, it's weird, and it's it's creepy. Yeah, I would say. It's and creepy. all those stuff. See, I mean, I can do that then. Yeah, it's yeah. in Spanish. Ah, uh, so there's that. God, and it'll creep you out to the point of like. No return. I'm just going to tell you that. Well, I mean... Well, let's just say this. We all need to watch more shit together The anyway. Curse of yeah. La Lorraine. I ain't even seen that. And I heard that's a really scary movie. And I think that shit's in Spanish, too. I think there's... Oh, I know what you're talking about. I think yeah, that yeah, shit... That. I think there's Same shit with just, Victoria or something like that. Did you hear about that? I know what you're talking about. That's is supposed it, to be like that, the scariest that what, movie. Yeah, ever? I remember they were talking about that shit years ago. Yeah. It I never Victoria? watched it because... Yeah. yeah, something like that. Well, I really, oh, Veronica or some shit. Yeah, it might be Veronica. When we all wanted to watch... What was it? Not VHS. 
uh, record. Record. Yeah. We were like, okay, let's get together. It was like ten of us. Because I think then, the first one was like in German or something like that. And then the second one was in Spanish or something. And yeah. we were like, at that time, we were like, well, this is stupid because, you know, white fucking people at that time were just right. idiots. Now, I don't give a shit what the fucking language yeah. is. If it's a movie, I'm going to watch it. The Grudge now that I've watched fucks with Squid me. Game, I'm never like, can. I never can watch The Grudge. Can't do it. I, I've seen I, that I, first. I don't, I the, don't mind you. I've never seen the ring. There's, there's just a scene on the second one where it really shouldn't be that scary, but it is to me. For some, it ain't really even I mean, scary. I just get chills up my spine for yeah, some odd reason. I feel like there's stuff in horror movies, the stuff that they don't mean to be scary, at least for me, and uh, based on what you just said, it goes the same for you, is more scarier than the scary parts. Mm-hmm. I think it was meant to scare kids if they just happened to be watching it at the time. Yeah. Because honestly, I mean, it was... I don't know. Like, you know how... They used to have like that little noise that they used to do, or whatever. Uh, yeah. So yeah. they had, they had uh, this counselor, or whatever, talking to these two girls, and then one girl turned on the other one, and then the other one just pops up out, or then the counselor just pops up over her desk, and her face is just pale. I get chills just talking about it. Yeah. And uh, she's just like, oh, and it was just like, <laughs> I don't know, man. You have to see. You have to see. It's funny watching you. Sounds it. like he's a boat you, coming you have to see her face. <laughs> you have to see her face. All aboard. Yeah, I can uh, understand that. And I remember the third one used to just be on Netflix, but I don't remember that one too. Wait, 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 wait. They came out with a third. Yep. Can't keep up. Holy shit, I did not know that. Is Sarah Michelle Gellar in all three? Uh, she died in the second one. Oh. Uh, okay. They killed so her, the third they one's killed probably her not. while she was in the hospital. Yeah, so the third one's probably not uh, A-list actors, though. I would assume. Yeah. Same with like... No, uh, it definitely, it definitely yeah. wasn't. Like, it took place in a, in an apartment, like, uh, like... Yeah, like an apartment building the entire time, so... Oh, yeah. They never really left that motherfucker. As opposed to the grudge, the other grudge is being in like a house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they have more to work with. I thought it was a great movie, though. I just, I don't know why I didn't watch the sequels, but I didn't even know there was a third one. Yeah, it's the same with the like, second one. The three Rings. I haven't seen any a single uh, one of them. <laughs> Man. Oh my god! I'm, I only watched that movie, the first one, out of curiosity, because I swear to God, I was like. I was a kid one day just scrolling through the fucking TV and uh, I scrolled through and I swear to God, it was on TNT and Lily was at the end because I, I had watched the movie later so now I know what part it was. But uh, I'm scrolling through and it's literally the part where like the motherfucker's face is fucked up and they finally show what happens whenever a uh, homegirl comes out of the screen and she gets to you. Uh-huh. So that's literally what I was saying. So I remember I saw it just left my body because I wasn't even looking for that. I just pop through and I just seen this terrible fucking face so I remember one day I was like alright well I'll go back and watch it fully through but I can't believe you ain't watched that shit that, that movie that movie's creepy without anything really happening for real yeah, that's cause, what I heard. cause you really don't even see dude's face like I said until the end or whatever and that's just yeah. them recapping the movie and she's a just a lot talking. of people cite it as like the scariest well, I mean, movie of all time but Maddie says so yeah. he's like hey I'm not watching the ring <laughs> every single time if you bring up that's probably movie. cause he still believes the myth Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't even deep. believe it then I watched it when I was like 12 yeah. I know more about uh, Scary Movie 3 When the little boy is like Mishi Mishi Yabasha You know like uh, Yamaha That little from thing the grudge, yeah. From, yeah from the grudge Oh yeah that, yeah, that's not the, That's yeah. not ring my The ring is the girl the With girl. the hair on her face yeah. Right? yeah But even that's funny In Scary Movie Because she's it, like Doesn't she out. like uh, Contort, contort And whatever. she can really do that In real life too Yeah that's crazy Well but they do that in the grudge too, right? I don't think she really couldn't tort it for real, because really she just crawled out of a well and then just just crawled. Normal. I thought, what movie is it where she never really, I thought she did like the. You never really got well. to see her get out of the TV until like the end. What horror and she movie? She just teleported and shit. Is the girl with black hair? So that's the grudge, but right? She can. She comes out and yeah, she like turns her. Yeah, that's the grudge. She she be doing all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Comes down the stairs. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's got long hair too. Mm-hmm. That part. You can actually see her face though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whew. That part fucked me up. I mean, I won't even lie. That video you watched a few weeks ago fucked me up. I, I won't even lie. Uh, what video? Mike was like, or post or someone was over here, and they were like, "Oh, bullshit, fake." I was like, "Yeah, fake." 
<laughs> like, I was petrified. I, I was. Remember what you're talking yeah, about. I don't remember. You were watching, like, ghost videos, and it was, like, um, this Asian guy in, like, Hong Kong or something, and he was, like, in a warehouse, and, like, he's panned, and all of a sudden he's seen, like, a fucking Asian woman's eye, and I, li- my breath was away. I had to go take I three have, Jeeps. I have just slight paranoia to the point where you won't hear me say anything about it being fake or not, because I don't really want no shit on me, so I ain't gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna say any fucking thing. Yeah. I'm watching it for my entertainment. That's <laughs> about it. I don't have a, I don't have... I ain't gonna say it's real or not. I ain't got it. To me... And like, I ain't got a dog in that fight. Whoever yeah. makes those videos... Whoever makes those videos, get them in a horror movie. Right. Because all of those YouTube horror shit or ghost sightings... Oh, I remember now. The woman in the, in the, the window. window and yes. Just, okay. I, I literally just got chills again. Yeah. Just thinking about it. Yeah. yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. Or the one of... Uh, there's the same video, which... Oh, God. When uh, it's shot as a camera in a corner, and then all of a sudden it's that black shadow, and it's like, and it like just zooms past. Yeah. It's literally doing this, like a the oh, yeah. cucaracha, and then it just <laughs> boops. Yeah. But yeah, like I can't. Doing Ryu. Like, all of them. Oh, yeah, thank you to uh, everyone who sent these. You are great fans. <laughs> uh, so I think it's about time. I'm going to explain the the segment real quick. Oh, yeah, this is the first time. Yeah, so whenever we have guests on, what when it comes rules? time... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when it comes time for the phone call segment... List the rules as John Cena house rules. Make them real simple. Number one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, get up to the mic. Get up to the mic. <laughs> okay, I will, but I'm still going to preface that yes, it will sir. change when we have guests on there. We will still do, like, the trivia and, you know, whatever the shit. Oh, so this is just us three. Right. This, because oh. it doesn't make sense to have guests. So, basically, rule number one. We will each choose a song. And whoever picks the worst song of the week mm-hmm. has to make the phone call. If you do not comply with these rules, you must get out of John Cena's house. Bum, bum. You will not in me. Oh shit! I hate, that. I hate that. You will not be invited to the cigar bar. <laughs> Men only. Um. So we're each going to throw a song into the ring every week, mm-hmm. and we will decide out of the three who has the weakest song, and whoever has the weakest song. We'll have to make the phone call that week. We all agree on that, right? Yes. Say aye. 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 Um, obviously, you have to go into it no bias because naturally, if you pick the song, you're going like to feel like that's the strongest one. Right. That's just the way it works. But you have to be like willing to accept that not everyone in the group feels that way. And so, like, but we have to be willing to fight for our song mm-hmm. and make it fun and have a good time with it. Mm-hmm. Um. So, yeah, real quick, I chose Is It Really You by Loathe, um, L-O-A-T-H-E. And who else? Uh, and Teenage Wrist. There we go. There is two versions of the song. There is one with Teenage Wrist, and then there's one with Sleep Token. Oh, and then there's one of Just Loathe. But I like the Teenage Wrist version the best, so that's the one that I threw into the ring. Yeah. However, I accidentally told them in advance, Sleep Token, and they had to sit through the most boring song ever written, possibly. So. I just want to <laughs> interject right there. Okay. You told me that, and I didn't even hear the Twisted Sister version, or whatever you just said, Teenage Bottle Rocket, <laughs> until tonight. So for the past Maybe. day, I've been listening, glorifying... That other one with the sweet uh, child of mine, that version. Sleep Token. Sleep Token. (laughs) That one is amazing. Okay. I fucking love that. Well, I'm glad you like it. I mean, yeah, it was chill. It just wasn't fitting for the mood that I was in when I listened to it. Too slow for my fucking taste. But the older I'm (laughs) getting... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, damn, is he... Is he... Is he... Telling us something? What I'm telling you? You all right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The older I'm getting, like I said, I'm becoming a sucker. A sucker. For a piano track. No, I like slow right. music. I like like Phoebe Bridgers. She's slow as fuck. Yeah. And there's not much going on there. It's just chill, you know, no, sad no, I just music know, but or whatever. I'm just saying, like, but you guys, there's different versions. Obviously, yeah. there's not of mine or of his. So, of yours, I'm just saying. And with, uh, I'll just say also with Sleep yeah. Token, my biggest issue is, like, first of all, they're on every, like, top ten metal records of 2021. And it's not metal. 
Okay? Yeah, that's not so, metal. M- no, rock? No, no, well, no. we'll let you slide under rock, but metal, it's not fucking metal. No. Okay? Yeah. And on their record, there is some screaming, but it's still not metal. Yeah. Okay? So that's the problem there. Second, when you sing a song, you can open up your goddamn mouth. Not everything has to end like... <laughs> like, the, everything he says... <laughs> Ends with his mouth going as small as it could possibly like be. Like he wants to whistle at the end of every sentence or something. Yeah. It drives me crazy. So Teenage Wrist, that's the version. Oh, and also, real quick, all these songs will be available on a 1722 playlist on Spotify. All these songs will be added each week. So you can check out these songs and make you know a judgment for yourself to see if we're right or wrong here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so now someone else can explain uh, their song. I also just want to say real quick, because I don't think we did... But all three of us have listened to all of the songs multiple times. Right. It's not like we're all coming in here now and we just listen to it before yeah, we, we let recording. each other know in advance. Yeah. And then we listen to them and we don't talk about it until right here, right now yeah. about our true, exactly. honest opinions. Uh, and then, so mine was by, or my, my song that I picked is Asshole Pandemic. Or Pandemic? I don't fucking know. I but by... Pacue, pacue, pacue. So take that as you will. Pacue, pacue, pacue. But uh, it's like punk. It's uh, it's uh, I, I I don't know what else you would call it. Yeah. But uh, there are Canadian bands. Pacue, pacue, or you know what? Fuck it. Pacue three times. <laughs> so they're a Canadian band, and I found the song years ago. And I w- I've just been listening to it like, oh, that's a great fucking song. And then so when you came up with this, I was like, oh, that's the one. It's probably got like the vibes of like a little bit of like Fiddler, Jeff Rosenstock, probably yeah. in that kind of realm, I would say. Yeah. Um, it's got like that emo punk mm-hmm. vibe to it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the the rest of them, I because I've listened to the album, and I'm like, yeah, I, I don't uh, really like anything else on it. So, you know, sorry. Yeah, but I'm glad I, I you can't. said that. Yeah. I was going to let you do the deep dive in it. Yeah. I mean, the song is great, but I, yeah. I figured it was probably going to be one of those deals where, yeah. like... I thought some of their other shit actually was pretty good. Uh, like, I let it play when I was listen, listening to it one last time at work mm-hmm. tonight. And I was like, oh, some of these actually aren't Yeah, I mean, time. maybe it's the mood I was in, because, like, when I'm at work, I have a very hard time listening... To an album, if it's not upbeat, so like if you start off out, out upbeat like asshole pandemic, mm-hmm. and then the rest is slow, I, I'm not gonna. It's not. It, I'm not gonna be listening as much, right? But with them, I was just like, yeah, these songs are good, but they're not memorable, right? They're, I'm not gonna go back to these. Yeah. Um, Where with the asshole, I'm gonna one, let everyone get their songs out of the way before I give yeah like my true opinions yeah. of each song. Uh, so, uh, I don't, I couldn't tell you what the song's about, and I'm just gonna say that week by week, because I don't know what songs are about, and I don't know what lyrics mean, so just get that out of the fucking way. <laughs> uh, even if I, I could look it up my, the entire week, and I still won't be able to tell you what the song's about. So, yeah, I, mean, I just, I just yeah. think whatever, to you, whatever it makes it a good song, in your opinion, is yeah. what you're fighting for. Yeah. Like, the main reason, I just want to say, for me, the main reason why I, uh, wanted it is because I'm like, yeah, it's... Something that you can listen to at all times. And I would say almost anyone who's going to listen to it, like, yeah, I kind of want to listen to that shit. And okay, especially now. You nowadays. can't defend it just yet because... I'm not, I'm not defending it. Okay. Well, we're going to let Ty's <laughs> yeah, Ty. choose his song and then... Or say his song and then we'll defend oh, it. All right, cool. Whatever. It'll be real simple to the point. It's Broadway Girls, Lil Dirk, Morgan Wallen. I think I said his last name right. Um... Yeah, it's, so. it's a it's a mesh of rap and country, which you really don't have often. I mean, Old Town Road was what it was with Billy Ray Cyrus, and, <laughs> what and, it Lil, was. and Lil Nas X. But I mean, this is a second coming to that, and I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty cool. I think we said that Morgan Wallen had them allegations, so that's a little that's a little iffy. But I appreciate the song, and I appreciate the meaning behind it and I only appreciate the hook because in a similar situation that I had in my life my stepdad had told me like because the person that I was worried about he was pretty much like they don't really I mean it's just your turn right now they ain't really gonna love you for life though so I mean when they were like oh they only love you right now I was like oh I feel that so I mean that's why that shit stuck to me it's just and I just thought it was kind of I don't know I thought it was kind of odd that I mean I was digging a country twang to feel that shit, but 
Hey, it was whatever it, took, it, it was what it was, and I mean, yeah. I think it's a pretty. I think it was a pretty impressive mix, but I, well, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, it just shows the diversity because shows all that you're three open-minded of us, too about music. Oh yeah, definitely. You're not uh, closed-minded, right. like oh fuck that. Yeah, yeah. All three of us picked a song that's very different from the last one, mm-hmm. and we were all willing to give each other songs a chance. Like I know I listened to both of your guys's like at least five or six times mm-hmm. to like yeah. really know what I'm talking about. Um, but then I'm also, you know, it's a show where I talk shit and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, well, yeah. That's um, where it starts, yeah. So, <laughs> Broadway Girls, not my fucking shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I figured, I figured yeah. that was coming. As soon um, as I saw Lil Wallen, I was fucking, I was like, yeah, Tyus lost. No, here's the thing. <laughs> I was like, here's, no way. here's the thing. I have no problem with hip hop being in, in the, the running. I'll probably throw a hip hop song in there from time to time. That's not the issue. Do I fuck with country? Absolutely not. Yeah. But I refuse to go into it with any sort of bias. I'm still going to be open-minded. Yeah. Right? Because if it was good, it would be good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't stand his fucking voice. It sounds fake as shit to me. Mm-hmm. It sounds like he's doing an impression of a country singer. Okay? And if you want my honest opinion of what I imagine the song is, is I imagine it's a guy who is a Klan's member. Yeah. Right? And as he's putting on his white hood... He's like, you know what, deep down, I really do want to take out a black girl, so this is the type of song that I would listen to and get into yeah. to, like, ease the tension now. <laughs> yeah. And it is, it ain't, it ain't, that ain't it. It ain't for me. <laughs> I feel that, but that's not what I got from, that's not what I got from his lyrics, because he still put his little country shit in there, but he's danced a little dangerous, and he was like, oh, she said that. Yes, yeah. that she'll risk it or whatever. So I didn't really get that vibe, but uh, yeah, clans, clans, <laughs> clans, man. I mean, damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I mean, I, had, I tried not to be biased, but I mean, I just said it like two episodes ago or the last one, maybe. I hate rednecks. I hate the country lifestyle. I hate country music. And when I hear it, it's hard for me not to like instantly yeah. be judgmental. Uh, but I still gave the song a chance. I'm just like, hey, Lil Dirk, you're you're all right. Mm-hmm. You could probably be good. Maybe, how about reach out to, like, John Mayer, maybe. Like, another white guy that's not country. Yeah. Find yeah, a, imagine, <laughs> hey, make, this? make a different bridge here. How about Lil Dirk and Dave Grohl? <laughs> there you go. That would be badass. Yeah, see, I'm cool with that. But I don't want any fucking music touching country. <laughs> because for me... It's no, I like I like bad. bands that have country elements. Blackstone no, no, no. Cherry That's fine. is a little bit country. We're not gonna turn right? this into a country song though. I like I just like what he provided for the hook. <laughs> I, I just gotta say something though. I'm saying a I just, I just can't stand his voice. I'm not saying a band that has country. I'm Bruh, saying, we're your girl. Yeah, or whatever. But I'm I, saying it's like motherfucker. I know you don't sound like that for real, and I know you're trying to sound yeah, like exactly. that to sell these fucking records to yeah. be a country artist. Yeah. And you have to do it, but it's fake, and I don't like fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't like disingenuine, and that's what that shit is to me. So that's just my personal opinion, and we can move on. Says nothing about Tyus or his musical choice. Definitely not. I don't I, have, all I'm I don't saying have is too much country. Actually, I don't have really any country besides this song in my in my library. So <laughs> Listen, I quite know, frankly, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I know for a fact I have more country than both of you. So I yeah. know I can sit on my... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not judging it. Yeah. I, like, I don't care if it's country or whatever. I'm just saying, when we bring these songs <laughs> in here week by week, and it's funny to talk shit about it, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just be it, honest will, about how I feel about and it. And I already said I'm not giving out my best song, <laughs> so you can already expect some some weak shit, but I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's, whatever I, it's whatever I thought was hot that week. Yeah, and exactly. then for Austin... For your song, I thought it was good, mm-hmm. but it's like I've heard it before. Oh, I you feel... heard the song? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I might have. I'm just saying, like the style, like the way it sounded, like the melody, the music, like everything. Yeah. It's just like it's been done. It's good, but it's not changing the world or whatever. Yeah. Uh, where I feel like with Loathe, that's kind of what they're bringing to the table. If you go back to their early stuff, it's just straight up hardcore. Sounds nothing like what they are now. But let me ask you And this. then what they're doing now is like trying to at least make something a little bit original. Even though, yes, I know you can be like, oh, it sounds like Deftones. But does it exactly? No. It's elements of different things. I just gotta say this though. Right. Okay. Would you rather want upbeat music that you're going to remember or do you want somber music 
that you immediately want to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, do you know who you're talking to? Like, all I do is listen to music that makes me But again, kill I'm asking you, but I don't give a fuck what you're going to say because I'm talking about myself. I don't. Okay. Right? So for me, I'm like, oh, I want the upbeat shit. Right. Loathe was good, and I love pianos, and I may be a sucker for it, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to choose it ever over a song that actually makes me want well, to do shit. Well, after I heard the second yeah. version, I mean, right? I can give, I can give that, I can give that version a thumbs up. I loved it, but yeah, the first one, <laughs> yeah. You, but yeah, you uh, you said you weren't even feeling that one, right. so yeah. Teenage wrist, <laughs> that's where it's at. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, the other version, it, it's it makes it too slow, too sad. <laughs> like there ain't nothing yeah. really going on there. But the, but the other version where it's a little bit more rock driven. I fuck with it. But I just like how they're doing something fresh and yeah. new. And they're like, you can tell that they have different influences, yes. But like, it's still fresh and exciting. And especially <laughs> for the scene that they're in and the bands that they're a part of, they're definitely different. Mm-hmm. Like, you would see them on the same bill as like Code Orange or something, right? But they sound absolutely nothing like Code Orange. I would walk out. But. They both started at that same starting point of being hardcore. Yeah, bands. but that's like if you go to see Lil Durk and then Tom Jones is the opening act. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think you're it's telling that me a piano a band is going to be on the same thing as a hardcore. Okay, but first of all, get off the goddamn piano. That's because, the only one I care about. Okay, okay but that's, that's the only one I. But that's the to. only one that sounds like that. Because that's the only one. Because that's good. Sleep Token sounds like that. Yeah, because that's good. The other one's not good, so that's what I'm going to reference when I'm talking about it. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying that... Teenage they, Wrist? Yeah? Not great. Let's be honest. Okay. See, That's but if great. we're being honest, and I am being honest, I disagree with you. I think it's leaps and bounds better than the piano one. See? Find a brick wall over here. You can never win. But that piano will always beat his fucking voice. You want to know why? Because all the voices sound the fucking same. And that was my biggest gripe with You that. can tell the biggest difference vocally when Sleep Token singing it versus when Loathe is singing it. See, I... With Loathe? Yes. Who the fuck is that? I thought they were the ones playing the music, like Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. See, this is the problem. Loathe is the band. It's their song. And they normally sing it. But then Sleep Token, they had him sing it. Oh, that makes me hate this even more. So you're fucking telling me that the people who were singing it's not even their fucking song? Sleep Token is the one that sang the song but that you're listening song. to. No. It was then a collaboration of them together. I hate it. I fucking Loathe hate it. did the music. Sleep Token So they sang. are like Skrillex, because they did the music. In that version. In that version only, yes. They're like Skrillex. In that version only. <laughs> yeah. okay. yes. But we're going round and round for nothing, because it really doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, so what's the war song, then? But my point is, is you can't base Loathe and what bands they sound like or anything off of the version that you listen to, because that's a singular... Well, I didn't even know Loathe was the band. Yes, Loathe is the band. Yeah, it's the same. I didn't even know Loathe had, was the fucking singing. I thought this whole time it was Loathe's beat, and then the other people are doing... And then now that I know that they have their own version... What is he... Not understanding because I I'm for real about to flip this goddamn <laughs> I'm saying, table. I'm saying the fact of the matter is yes, I don't give a shit about any of their trip any of their versions if it's not theirs. The fact that they even reached out and had other people sing their shit, they immediately lose in my opinion. Fuck loathe, fuck sleep token, fuck teenage masturbator, whatever the fuck that shit is. <laughs> fuck them. That is ass. It's you don't see collaboration Rush having a, a motherfucker have sing their song on their fucking record. It was ta- having Sleep Token do an alternative version to what they do while they do the music. That's pretentious. That's as hell. all it. Is. Bands do it all the time. How? That's There's so, so many happy. different versions. Oh my In god! In hip hop, how many songs have featured? Hip hop, it makes how sense. many it's songs that have featured Drake? Yeah, but that's DJ dude. Khaled puts out five remixes of the same song. But that's a dude. I don't want to hear a fucking band. Five bands cover the same fucking song. Right. With I, the band. Right. I think it's a bit much. They should have left it at just low. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's then if they mu- wanted to, they blow in my sure, mind right but now. But the song by themselves sounds exactly the same pretty much as the Teenage Wrist yeah. version. The Sleep Token one is very, very different. It doesn't sound like anything else they do. Oh. Okay. Fucking insane. But either way, the point of the matter is, if you listen to <laughs> early low, then it's like 2016, 2017, it's all screaming, all breakdown, all hardcore type shit, right? Then you listen to what just came out. Yeah. Very, very different. Not hardcore at all. Mm-hmm. Okay? 
So my point is, is at least they're trying to, you know, push the boundaries. They're trying to come up with ways to be inventive and new and exciting. And we can say the same thing about Lil Durk. Because he's reaching out to a country singer. Like you said, doesn't happen very often unless you're talking about, like, Jelly Roll. I think he kind of does that whole thing, but... What? Do we know who reached out to him? Well, it I doesn't mean, matter. He's a oh. feature, so I right. know I know Lil Durk reached out to him probably. Yeah. Either way, Lil Durk got Morgan Wallen on there. It's it's cool. He's at least trying to do something different, have a different song. Mm-hmm. That to me is the weakest point of Pacu Pacu Pacu. Stupid as fucking name. Well, that's the weakest thing, is their name. Yeah. Because I feel like an asshole just saying it. Oh yeah, they're way but, better, but yeah. But the song, I feel like the weakest point about the song is the fact that it's not like refreshing really it's just kind of been done See, but, but it's catchy but I like the melody about refreshing with but, but, music but I do because I'm a music but fan. music's not a sprite but at music's the... not an iced tea Blake <laughs> I don't give a fuck about refreshing if I'm listening to music yeah I understand that but I also don't want to keep you know listening to coke all the time I've tasted coke I've had it every once in a while. Maybe throw some cherry in there. That's at least. why I have no. That's why I have no negative things about either one of these songs. Just because I really haven't been in that side of the music. Well, that side of music for real, for like months. To be honest, it's just been rapping kind of like chill old school shit. So yeah, see, that's that's the why that's why I don't really have too much of negative things to say about the songs. And I was like, oh, I enjoyed them both. Although I didn't enjoy the piano thing, but that's like I said, it's not what we're talking about. <laughs> but, uh, but ultimately, that's the cool part. Is we're all showing each other different songs, different yeah. genres, like. I know going into it, like, I decided, like, okay, I don't want to go with an extreme metal choice, because I know, like, that's not really their thing, but eventually we're going to take it there, gonna but we're going to jump super in, fucking exotic you know, and that's fine, and you should. Exotic and erotic. Yeah, that, I mean, sure, yeah. that's fine. Mm. Because I don't listen to music. Right. So okay, that, so, so every single time of this, any time I bring up a yeah. song, it's going to be what I found on Discover Weekly. One thousand percent, or something. That's exactly what I did, though. But yeah. I'm saying with him, he can have fifty fucking songs at one time <laughs> that we've never fucking heard. He's got a machine gun of songs, <laughs> right? Yeah, but like it's just fun. Like I, I, I like dissecting the song. Yeah, that's like, fine. Regardless. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying for me, I'm not gonna be like, okay, so this one was hardcore, and then it came into this. I'm like, hey, it's it's a fucking song. Yeah. I'm putting it out there. I'm not going to be like, okay, this one was punk, so I'm not going to do punk this week. This one was rock, so I'm not going to do rock this week. Yeah, this no, one was rap. Me. I'm going to be like, it's a fucking song. It's a fucking song. Right. No, I'm just saying. I know I'm saying to them. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, no, if, yeah. if you see a pattern and you're like, oh, Austin likes this, yeah, motherfucker, it's what I'm into. Right. I'm not going to go out of my way and have Tyus fucking listen to polka music. Right. Why the fuck would I do that to him? <laughs> Yeah, I just He's not gonna I want like songs for people to check <laughs> like, out that are just like good and new yeah. and something to listen to. It makes it fun. It gives us extra content that we can pick apart and have fun with. Yeah, and who doesn't and like experience? It's like things. a little bit of like a competitive like whatever. Um, Tyus doesn't want to throw in like his like favorite songs, which is fine for me. I'll throw in like a mix of both. Like, just check out these songs, and then like this is my. Yeah contribution to the segment this week or whatever my uh musical taste for best songs are pretty much 98 to 2003 radio <laughs> so everyone's heard them system of a down goldfinger real big fish all that shit so i mean it's you can't really you've heard my stuff already yeah it's just it, so, it's just about putting a song in there no i know so either stuff, way point of anything. the matter is who do we feel like what is the weakest song of the three this week who, who do we say? For me, I'm going Broadway Girls. I don't fuck with it. Like, I just can't. I gave it a fair shot, but it ain't it. I mean, yeah, if I had to say. Well, see, At the I end know. of the day, you have to, like, whatever the weakest song is, is the one that you're like, yeah, I don't see that being added to my personal playlist. Would you listen to that outside of having to listen to it for the segment? The answer for that song is, no, I would not. So to me, that makes it the weakest see, of the but bunch. Goes, but it's hard because neither of those would I go for. Okay, see, see, now that's fine. Yeah, you get to make that. I'm throwing in what I think is the weakest, and it's so only and it's, to, again, it's not because it's you too. It's I would just, never uh, take it personally. No, I know. I'm again them, <laughs> them. <laughs> okay. I'm only saying it because I don't want people to be like, oh, so you're going to be biased. It's not about bias. It's just these two songs did right. not hit me. 
Yeah, that's it. Next week it might. The week after it may not. <coughs> so again, but, I'm just laying that base for them, not yeah. not for you guys. Yeah, let me. Okay, if we need to preface it, sure. Yeah. Not that I give a fuck, but I'll you know just to be nice, I guess. Uh, Tyus has showed me multiple songs that I absolutely love. So this has nothing to do with how I feel about Tyus or any. This yeah, is, exactly. has to do with how I feel about this song that is being brought. Right here, right now. Yeah. And it will be for when Austin brings a song, it will be, Wait, it's about yeah. the song. It has nothing to do with anything outside yeah. of that. Yeah. So. The simple version is just fucking songs. No, yeah, no, exactly. re- no reflection. There right. we go. So, settled it. Three, two, one. Okay. Probably so, Girls is my least so favorite. We already, <laughs> so, we've already determined that I'm a loser because he said that, and then you said neither song hit, so we don't need to go any further because that's a 2 0 vote. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. now it's just about. So now we gotta. Yeah, we gotta do the. It's ten forty four. Do the holy Damn. shit! Did not know was that late. I have to work at nine. At nine, oh my! I'm still trying to watch this video. Though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got one. Oh, damn. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Have you heard of the seventeen twenty two podcast? Oh, well, you should do me a favor and check it out. You're on it right now. We do episodes weekly, and we drop them every Sunday. You should check us out. All right. Sounds good. All right. I appreciate it. What's your name again? Um, Alyssa. All right. I appreciate it, Alyssa. You have a good night. <laughs> yeah, see that's what I'm fucking talking about. This is nice. And then now we get her back with the with the bullshit. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now it's the embarrassing shit. <laughs> this is my best. I've been smooth. I've been smooth with her ass. So I'm gonna say something. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. My bad, Alyssa. I forgot to tell you one more thing. And remember, don't, don't take shit from, from nobody. nobody. <laughs> Never. She was, she was froze. Yeah. Thank <laughs> but, you. But uh, great episode. Yeah. Peace.